Hello, uh, my name is Raz. I'm a professor of mathematics teaching in a university, but I'm also a co-founder of Matific, which is a company that uh, makes a personalized learning uh, digital resource for teaching math uh, K to six. What we do at Matific is develop almost 2,000 interactive uh, activities for children through which they can learn mathematics, learn the concepts, and develop critical thinking and strategy. I'm going to talk about now about a cross-cultural phenomenon, uh, which is responsible for many, many talented children to hate mathematics and avoid any science or technology discipline. And I'm talking about math anxiety, something which everybody talks about. Just as a personal story of uh, being a mathematician, whenever people ask me, what are you doing? And I say, I'm a mathematician. They always looked at me horrified and then mumble something like, yeah, I was never really good at that. So in these few minutes, what I want to do uh, is maybe to give a few explanations of what's going on, what causes math anxiety, and maybe propose some solutions. So the first problem I want to talk about is a lack of preparedness. And I want us to examine what happens to children before they get to primary school. They're born, raised by their parents, and they're exposed to numbers and counting from the very beginning. I remember myself with my one-year-old children climbing stairs, counting with them one, two, three, four. And then all along childhood, you have those counting books and you have Sesame Street videos, counting videos. And uh, you know, you, you eat, uh, I don't know, uh, beans, you count the beans. Uh, you're, you have numbers and counting all around you. So when you're six and you get to school, you've been exposed for already quite a few years to numbers and counting, and you're prepared. There's no phobia at this stage from mathematics. And when children get to uh, K or first grade, again, they count and they write numbers, and it's all quite friendly because they are prepared for that. In contrast, think what happens with fractions. Children almost, are almost not ex exposed to fractions until third or fourth grade, and then all of a sudden, within a few years, they expect to understand what it means, different meanings of fractions, do arithmetic operations with fractions, divide fractions, and the trauma is caused by the fact that it's way too fast without any preparedness. So one of the things that should be done, and we definitely do at Matific, is what I would call seeding ahead. And I'll give an example. Negative numbers are usually uh, studied uh, at middle, in middle school. But children are exposed to negative numbers very early. For example, when you go to the mall, very often you park at level minus two. And children understand that very well. It's very natural. You could definitely, uh, in second or third grade, give children problems uh, you know, about uh, how, you know, how many floors do you have to climb if you're at minus two and you need to get to the sixth floor. Uh, that would be very natural arithmetic for children. They would be able to do that. And I'm not talking about changing the curriculum, but then only constantly sitting ahead so that concepts, when they really learn them formally in the curriculum, are not totally new to them. So that's one thing. And the second thing I want to talk about is that math anxiety is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Uh, teachers and parents tend to always overprotect the students or children. Okay, there's a feeling that if a child experiences any difficulty in mathematics, that's what will create fear. And I strongly believe that it's the exact opposite. When you protect your child, you overprotect your child, what you do in a way is transmitting a, math a message saying you're not smart enough to, know ma to understand mathematics. And the key, I think, actually, is quite the opposite, to constantly challenge children with interesting problems that will actually make them want to solve them by, by curiosity. Children are very curious. Children like to play. And if they're uh, presented with interesting problems, they will try to solve them, even if they're difficult. And that, it's an attitude that has to change. Uh, so in Matific, for example, we developed many, many challenging uh, games or activities where children have to, you know, to, to, they're in a situation, they have to apply 
mathematical ideas, critical thinking, develop different strategies. And what we've been seeing all over the world is that children presented with interesting yet challenging problems, they, they, they go for it. And if they don't succeed, it's not viewed as a failure. On the contrary, they're more motivated to go and try to solve it. And uh, that's a way, I think, uh, to prevent this trauma and create children who really can enjoy on the one hand the mathematics and on the other hand also succeed in what we as a society ex expect them to succeed. Thank you very much.